Tragedy strikes Gotham. We need your help. Let's go. All right, guys. It's what we've all been waiting for. Time to reveal the Batman clutch. But let's get in to the tragedy first. So as most of you know that have been following along with my videos, we had 11 eggs from the leopard spot nose heck clown. All 11 were alive and well when I cut them, but one of them was severely kinked. As you can see here, there is no chance this snake would have ever survived. It actually died in the egg. It never did come out. It was kinked from head to tail. It was a leopard spot nose heck clown i didn't check to see if it was male or female there was no use it was dead i knew something was wrong because everything else had came out of the egg and that one was still sitting in there so when i went to cut a bigger window in it and i started to pull out the tail a little bit that's when i seen that the tail was really kinked tragedy struck the batman clutch but there is some triumph left in this clutch let's check it out guys All right, guys, so let's start off with the lowest and go up to the highest. Right here, we have a normal het clown male. This boy will be available once he's had his meals and shed and done all that. And right here, we have a leopard het clown male. I believe this guy is already taken. And uh, he'll be going to his new home after he's had his meals and his sheds and all that. So again, that one's a male, leopard, heck clown. Right here, we have a female spot nose, heck clown. This is a holdback. I will not be getting rid of her. I don't think you could ever have enough spot nose and heck clown females in your collection. So this girl will be staying here. She is beautiful. Can't wait for all these snakes to shed. And before we get into the visual clowns, this is a mystery snake. So this is what looks like a spot nose calico. I mean, it's crazy these side patterns i'm really anxious for this one to shed this is a female so this one will be staying here but there is no calico in this pairing in fact i don't even own any calico the previous owner of mom did not own any calico so this pairing was a leopard spot nose heck clown female and the male was a blade clown but if you look back to the other spot nose heck clown it's totally different than this i mean this one the the patterns all stretched out very little keyholes white coming up the sides look at the tail this is just crazy so if any of you guys know how this could even be possible let me know in the comments does it look like a spot nose calico heck clown to you i know hets play an influence but not that much influence compared to the other spot nose this is a mystery snake, and I'm excited to hold her back and breed her out in a few years. So right now, she is a spot nose heck clown mystery. And right here, we have a clown male. This boy will be available after he has had his meals and sheds, etc., etc. Very cool pattern on this guy. I really like his head stamp. Like I said earlier though, none of them have shed, so they're still all pretty shiny. I'm really anxious to get these guys shed out and really take a better look at them. So this is a clown male that will be available. And right here, we have a leopard clown female. Hold back, of course. She's got a great pattern. I love how much pattern she has actually there is blade in the mix so i was scared it was going to reduce a lot of the pattern in the snakes but this girl came out with a lot of leopard pattern down the sides nice good dorsal stripe 
Look at that crazy little stuff on her tail. It's cool how that dorsal stripe kind of, it still stays connected, but it does a cool little pattern, kind of like a slipknot S or something. She is beautiful. And like I said, she is a holdback. Before we get into the crazy combos though, I gotta give a shirt shout out to Miguel. Big dog, I was one of the first people to get this shirt before he even went public with it. And the reason why I'm giving him the shirt shout out this week is because without him, none of this clutch would have been possible. I got the female from him and I got the male from MJ who got the male from Miguel. So big shout out to Miguel, been a day one supporter, always believed in small town exotics. Now I gotta admit, I was wrong. I thought we hit two or three Batmans. We did not hit two or three Batmans. We hit four Batmans. Four! Can you believe that? Four Batmans. Crazy, huh? This one over here is the darker version. High pattern. Then we got two right here that are kind of like medium pattern. And then this one is way reduced. So I believe this one right here, which is the only female, is a blade Batman. She's got a cool neck stripe that starts on the side of her head. Crazy, huh? Four Batmans. So let's enjoy the beauty of these four Batman. You know, I kind of got skunked on the sex ratio. I hit three males, one female. One male is already sold. So as of right now, I'm holding back two males and one female. If you are really serious about getting a male, we might be able to talk about it. This is probably my favorite one. This guy right here is extra dark. Versus these other two males. Beautiful. Man, we killed the odds on this. And here's my only female over here. She is definitely staying no matter what. Don't even ask. And that's the results of the Batman clutch. So what'd you guys think of the results of that Batman clutch? We smashed the odds. From that pairing, it was a one in 16 shot of hitting a Batman. I was just crossing my fingers to hit one. But we hit four. four! Out of 11 eggs, we hit four Batman. One of them, I think, is a Blade Batman, too, which is the all-gene animal. So like I said, big shout out to Miguel at Always Evolving Pythons. Without him, this clutch wouldn't have been possible. Thank you all for watching. Jump down in the comments. Let me know what you think of our results. Until next time, guys, rock on!